Celebrities have never been more accessible at any point in history. With Twitter and other forms of social media, people now get to feel like they're actually interacting with their favorite actors, actresses, singers, internet personalities, fucking porn stars. If you like their work or their tits, you can let them know personally. And of course, if you hate them, you can also let them know. And believe me, they will fucking let you know. Now most of the time, it's still pretty much a one-way interaction. You say something to your favorite celebrity and like 99% of the time you get no response because there's millions of you and one of them. But every now and then, someone famous will toss a like or a retweet your way, maybe even reply if they're really bored. All very much planned in order to make it seem like they give a shit to keep you spending your money. And then you fucking squeal because they put their thumb on their screen. They might have even done it accidentally. And then these people put it in their fucking Twitter bio, like, Ariana Grande noticed me May 22nd! And it means the fucking world to them, for reasons I don't think I could possibly ever understand, because I don't worship anyone. Especially not a fucking person. Ugh, flawed pieces of shit that we are? No thanks. But I love the idea that someone's so excited about some person reading their tweet, and there's a 66% chance they were doing it while shitting. They wiped their ass seconds after pressing that stupid little heart. Or maybe seconds before. But for some reason, people think this level of accessibility extends to real life. And that is where Jeffrey Dean Morgan comes in. You probably know him best as Undercover Agent Number 1 in an episode of CSI. Or I guess you might know him as Negan from Walking Dead. Whatever. So recently, he tweeted the following. Dear people that think it's a solid plan to come to our house, take pictures, drive up to house, knock on door. It's not a good plan. It's rude and creepy. Respect our privacy, please. And you're being recorded. Now, I couldn't seem to find any reports that gave actual numbers as to how many people have done this, other than he said people, so you can assume it's more than one. But this is absolutely absurd. And I'd like to think that there's no one in my audience this fucking stupid, but then again, I've collected some fucking mouth breathers along the way who just watch because they disagree with everything I believe in. But you know how you think celebrities owe you something? They don't. Least of all, do they owe you their privacy and spare time. I don't know how many times I've done this rant, so let's keep it short. Celebrities owe you jack shit. You watch a show, you got what you paid for. Especially if you paid nothing because you pirated it. You paid for a movie ticket? An album? <laughs> no one buys music. You streamed an album? You got a movie. You got the music. Transaction fucking complete. You don't go find out where these people live and then go to their house. You are a stranger. Would you just go to any stranger's house? Of course you wouldn't, if you're normal. But you don't think they're a stranger. They're Negan! You know him! He's on TV! He might have read your tweet one time! But according to at least one person in his replies, People are crazy and obsessive and that's the price you pay for being a public figure, i.e. celebrity. Deal with it or give away all your money and go get a 9 to 5 office job. So, because he's managed to find success doing something that a lot of people enjoy, he should either give all his money away, you have to be poor to enjoy your life apparently, or accept that people can come to his house whenever they want, where his kids are, and annoy the fuck out of him. One or the other. As an experiment, I'd love to fucking go knock on these assholes doors. Like say they worked at Best Buy, I'd just go to their home, Hey, can I get a picture? Oh, what TVs are gonna be on sale next week? Hey, can you give me a deal on a new game? Mind if I come back tomorrow? Ooh, what you having for dinner? That looks good. And what would be the difference? They're a public figure. I've seen them in public. Why aren't all retail employees accessible to me at all times? That should be the price you pay for working retail, right? Food service people too. What, you'll cook me a burger at McDonald's but not when you're at home relaxing? What are you, some fucking snob? You owe me, I pay your salary. You wouldn't even have a job if it wasn't for me. Cook me a burger, bitch. And what takes balls is for Jeffrey Dean Morgan to mention this in public. I've debated doing videos talking about shitty things that fans or especially people who dislike me have done to me online. But my worry is that if I do that, it'll inspire the less inspired of them to just copy that behavior. Because when you tell people not to do something, what do they do? Exactly what they were fucking told not to do. 
Now, I've never had it as bad as some asshole finding out where I lived, but you know there's some fuck who read that tweet going, oh shit, how'd they find out where Negan lives? I wanna go see him. Oh, that info must be online somewhere. And they'll go look it up so that they can go too, because people are shitty. So again, celebrities owe you nothing. And they're not your friends. They're jesters who entertain you for a living. And they only have to entertain you while they're working. Or if they choose to hold a public meet and greet or autograph signing. They don't have to entertain you when they're out in public with their families having dinner. And they definitely don't have to do it while they're in their home that you shouldn't even know the whereabouts of. And yes, it's only a few bad apples. It's not everyone. And it's not the majority. But they're like testicular cancer. Left untreated, one diseased ball can fuck the whole thing up. Hey, ask Dimebag about how bad one crazy asshole fan can be. Oh right, you can't.